Good afternoon, Shot Creek Inkers and Instagram boys. We are out with Camden Country Pools and Spas for the second up, and this is what we're staring at today. It's actually um, slightly later start, starting at one o'clock, and pretty basic. Just a uh, we're looking at a feature wall, a couple of little sections there where. Um, they'll have the uh, the fountain come through, sorry, the waterfall come through. Everything's nice and tight, of course. A lot of 150 centers. Very solid steel, as per you'd expect from uh, from the team at Camden Country. So, wall-wise, okay, let's get into this. What to do, what to do. Like, when you're... Okay, so when you're... Here, this is my height. Cool. All right. So, once you start getting down to the business end, what options do you have? Now, we've got obviously a little bit of um, a framework that we can we can get our tops with. So, as we start moving down to here. I can hit, you know, only so far. Um, I need, need one more yeah. Lad, can I borrow you for a sec? Can I borrow you for a sec? Yeah, so. Got our skimmer box. Um, why, why the Australian skimmer boxes are set up like they are, I am not too sure. But that's just how we do it. Um, can you grab the, the nozzle for us, please? And come in! Come in! Alright, so that's just our skimmer detail that we're looking at. Obviously everything's leveled. Thanks, lad. Come in, come in. Uh, so the question of how how high should you shoot? Like how? Like one year's Taller than me, he's, he's a good two inches taller than us. But there you go. Alright. Hypothetically. Chuck this on. I'm down here. Generally, when I cap out, Generally when I cap out, um, like here, so that's my reach, okay, I don't really want to come too far up because I end up spraying that fence, so when you start getting down to super deep stuff, I think my max would agree with that one, that's kind of my max, lad. Like with a heavier pump, can you turn it up? Yeah, sure, you can reach it, or you can step back and and hit it. But uh, I find it easier to go halfway, regardless of whether you're on the shoulder or off the shoulder, and you're here, or you're still between legs and here. You're still kind of halfway, and then you still want to keep it perpendicular to the nozzle wise. You want to keep the nozzle as perpendicular to where you're shooting so you don't get as much rebound. So that's that's one of those things you've got to take into account. Far too many times. I see guys, oh this is why I tape. Because I've got fat hands. So there, there and there. Far too many times I see guys do these. Like absolutely shoot for the moon. Thank you, lad. Yeah, so try to be here. Like definitely try to square up when you spray. Square up. Try not to do this. If you're doing off gun or if you're 
you know, still learning. This is your friend, like this down here, or benching is what they call it. Okay. This is your friend. This is not your friend. So if you think you can't get it, don't don't shoot into the moon. Because um, what will happen is as you're coming up halfway, so obviously there is concrete weight. Fingers. Obviously there's concrete weight here, okay, outside. So you've you've already come out halfway. You're at shoulder height. So you've got all this concrete weight just sitting here. So depending on the mix, depending on your skill level, um, ambient temperatures and so on and so forth, whether you're doing chemical mix as well, determines how far you're going to go up. But you still need to try and keep the nozzle, regardless of what nozzle you use, try and keep your nozzle at a max deviation of about 5 degrees, max. Okay, because that's good. You'll get super compaction here when you're this. When you start getting up like this, you'll mix and you start getting rebound because your angle of attack is a little bit too high. So try to bring everything flat. Okay, regardless of whether you're using the American ones, American nozzles, or the Australian ones, hold flat. You'll get better compaction and if you spray at this angle you'll find that you'll get a wave so the concrete will do this because it's not getting compacted against the form ply or whatever you're shooting against and you'll have excess weight and it'll want to drop out if that makes sense okay so Go up to here. If you can get higher with a, uh, a ladder or a plank or an A-frame or scaffolding, we're going to use an A-frame and a uh, plank. Then fine, you can just get a little higher. But don't be lazy, Nozzleman, talking to you. Don't do this. Don't shoot like this. Don't get up here. Don't be lazy because you're not going to get what you the results that you want. Okay. So that's just a little tip. Other than that, everything is kind of pretty straightforward. Oh, let me adjust this. Okay, so other than that, super, super tight. No wiggle. Okay, fantastic day to be spraying a second up. Um, yeah, we're using Gun Lake today, so another good mix. Um, they should be here momentarily. I'm going to try and set up a time lapse and hopefully everything will go sweet. Hopefully. We'll see. So, hopefully, aside from that, hoping everybody, wherever you are in, in the world, um, hopefully, everybody's having a safe and productive day. And uh, we'll see you on the next side of this one.